Hi, I'm CJ Elmberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. We've got a brand new Cimarron 4 horse sitting behind me. This is a North Star model. Uh, again, this is a 23 model, just showed up at the lot. I know that a lot of these using trailers are kind of get hard to get your hands on. Um, about as quickly as they come in, we get them sold on the lot, but this one is available at the time of this video at least. So don't waste any time if you are in the market for something like this. So before we walk into this trailer and I'll show you the options, let's take a look at the drawing on this because I'll show you the, the layout of it and some dimensions. So this is a four horse. It's the RTG package, so it's got a front dressing room. You are 21 foot on the floor. You're Cimarron standard 610 wide and Cimarron standard height of 71 on this trailer that we're looking at here. We have a uh, three foot eight short wall on this with a four foot offset as far as the front dressing room goes. But every one of these Cimarrons is a little unique. We do some different options to each one of them. Um, we really feel like they give you a lot of benefit and just a lot more usage and a lot more enjoyment out of the trailer the way we build these trailers and have them optioned on the actual lot. So all aluminum construction, you're gonna have an eight year structure warranty, a three year hardware warranty. We'll talk about a warranty on the tires as well when we get into that part of the, the video here. But we'll walk you through this trailer. We'll point out a couple different things. One of the very first things as we're approaching the neck on this trailer, is Cimarron's neck is eight too long. A lot of the competitors are seven, six, seven, eight. Now, with that being said, I really like these 8.2 noses because if you're pulling with a long box and when you drop that tailgate, a lot of competitors, your tailgate is right up against the spare. Uh, so you have to be careful when you're actually dropping that and backing up to the actual trailer. With 8.2, you can actually walk through with a tailgate down this area here. And one of the other things that gives you a little bit more room, um, just because of the natural design and build of this trailer, we move this spare tire up. Normally it's down low, so it kind of sticks out. That's one more thing you kind of have to work around as you're walking behind here. But there's also another benefit to this and reason why we did this. Normally it's located down low, like I mentioned. We moved it up high because on these 610 wide trailers, if you ever decide to upgrade to a electric over hydraulic jack, we use the equalizer option because of the manual override on that. But if you do that, the footprint is a lot larger so we have to relocate this spare anyway so once we get it up in the position it's at now you can go ahead and put a jack we don't have to worry about moving this well when you go to move it it's more time it's more money in order to do that type of an upgrade so with that being said this is now standard on all 610 wide Cimarron trailers the spare is going to be up when we have a seven six eight foot we have more width to the trailer so it doesn't interfere. We don't have to worry about that. You have a manual hand crank jack on this. Bulldog uh, is the manufacturer of it. Nice heavy duty. If you Again, if you decide to upgrade to the, the hydraulic just to be able to push a button and raise this trailer up and down, we can do that through our parts and service department here at TransWest. One other thing we'll talk about as we're right up here at the snows area is this gooseneck drop wall. So if you've watched our videos and you really watch these using trailers like this in a two, three, four horse type option, um, we do take it a case by case basis, but we change this gooseneck drop wall height. Standard is 50 inches, we make ours 53. And the reason why is all these trucks continue to get taller. Their bed rails, the very top is a lot higher. Ford's Dodges have been prominently uh, taller over the last couple years with GM's new body style. They've actually gone up two inches on theirs as well. So what we want is we want plenty of bed clearance, but also making sure this trailer's running nice and level. We want that equal weight distribution on those two axles. We don't want it running nosed up, leaning on that back axle. And then you don't want it running level with minimal bed clearance, tearing up a, a truck bed on an $85,000 pickup in today's market. So. We've gone in and, and made that adjustment. So now we can adjust our coupler, make sure this trailer's running level, and make sure you have plenty of bed clearance on this, on this trailer and your truck. So as we get into this tack room, like I mentioned earlier, it's the RTG package, the ready to go package. There's a couple items that I'll show you that are standard. First is you get a 42 inch wide door because you are gonna have a swing out saddle rack. Since this is a four horse, you're gonna have four pads, 
These are adjustable. You can slide them up and down. You can add some blanket poles if you want, just different options there. Uh, but by having this swing out, we want that 42 inch door because we don't want saddles dragging against door frames as we're going in and out. The other thing is you can have this out like it's at the current position and you can still walk through into your tack room. Some manufacturers will have this feature, but on a narrow door to where again, you're gonna be dragging stuff on the door frames, but then you gotta push it back in to get in or out of the actual tack room. So with this, you can still function throughout the trailer. Another option on the RTG package is a four tier blanket pole rack on the door on a gas shock as well. Brush tray on the door. That's great for smaller items when you're traveling. You know, brushes, fly spray bottles, just those smaller items like that, you can just toss right in that actual brush tray. You get a boot box. Now we did a partial boot box, so we kind of shifted it just to give this door opening a little bit, you know, larger feel to it and a little bit more open but it's a 12 inch deep box. It works as a step getting into the uh, gooseneck area as well, but you can throw some smaller items, throw your boots in there, throw some little small items that might shift around as you're traveling, just keeping a little bit more organized as far as this is concerned in, in this trailer itself. So you're gonna have carpet on the deck, carpet on the gooseneck drop wall, carpet on the floor as well. You've got two windows so you can see out. I'm a fan of those. I've had to sleep in the nose of a trailer multiple times. It's nice to be able to see out, open up those windows, create a cross breeze. You feel a little bit more comfortable in it. Uh, up to the right, you'll notice that's a, a tray. That's a storage tray. That's going to be for our plexiglass on tail side of this trailer that I'll show you in a few minutes. But then you can keep it organized. You can keep it in a central location. You're not just randomly throwing those pieces in here and then worrying about them breaking. That's where they're actually going to store there. And then behind me with the RTG package, you're gonna get this shelf with a clothes bar so you can hang some clothes here, hop in, change as you're traveling, keeping things nice and neat. This actually has a lip as well, so it's gonna hold items from shifting and just sliding off. Uh, but these are become very popular, the shelves, just trying to create more storage for you because uh, we understand you know, you're gonna have different uses for these trailers, let's make them as user friendly as possible and have a lot of storage. That's one of the big things. One other item that we do, just kind of like that spare tire is, we frame for the AC unit. So if you ever decide to put an air conditioner or even just a manual crank um, camper style vent up here, they have the same footprint. So by having these uh, frames already built in there, again, it's saving you a lot of time and money if you do go to add on that type of option, just like that spare tire. We don't have to relocate it. But that is definitely nice to have. Again, our parts and service department could help you out with an air, air conditioning unit uh, or a vent. If you're doing the air conditioning, you need to do a 30 amp breaker package to power it. Uh, then you'd need an external power source, whether it's a portable generator or just plug it in somewhere to run that air conditioner itself. And then on the partition wall, you're gonna have a set of hooks, high and low, carpet behind them, so our tack isn't rubbing against this uh, aluminum sheets behind there, actually creating a lot more noise for the horses on the backside, but also scuffing that tack up and the wall up. So we like to put that carpet behind there. You can always go in and add more hooks as well. We just have to make sure we're you know, getting into a post. So there's a, a larger post here on the other side. There's another one on the back side, but we can go in and add some carpet there as well. And one of the last pieces to the RTG package is gonna be that corner water tank back there. That is wasted space on these slant wall trailers. So these corner water tanks have become extremely popular. And that way you can carry 25 gallons of water with you. It's just gravity feed, so you fill at the top you know, go ahead and there, it comes with a hose. I'd put a ball valve on the end. You can fill buckets up on the outside of the trailer. That way you're not having to lug those buckets in and out with water. Uh, but it is nice to be able to carry that water with you, whether you're traveling, <clears throat> going somewhere where the hydrant's a long ways away, or you have a horse that only likes water from home. So you've got those type of options as well. Now, one thing that's, that is an add on is this fold up step. So on this, 42 inch wide door, we opted for the step because as you see the running board here, 
from the running board to the door frame, that's just kind of a minimal step there, but from where I'm standing to that door frame, that's a pretty big step. So these are very popular options. We do this to a lot of trailers nowadays, anything with basically a tack room. Um, we're putting this fold up step on it. When we get into our seven, six, especially eight foot wides and there is no running board at all, you know, the step we put on everything as well, but those are definitely handy. It's just making life easier getting in and out of these tack rooms itself. This one's a white sheeted trailer. That is the standard color on a Cimarron. You can upgrade into other colors, champagne, silver metallic, charcoal metallic, black, polished stainless. I think we have a blue, a Pepsi blue trailer on order. We got a red one coming. So you can do some custom uh, colors as well. We can always add graphics. Uh, we actually don't put a lot of graphics on our inventory trailers. And that's just because if I put blue on this and you pull in with a maroon truck, you want maroon stickers, you got blue on the, on the trailer. But we have a company, a sister company, that can do graphics for you. So we can do custom designs, we can do different colors. So if you wanna go somewhere along that route, we can help you out with that as well. Now, like I mentioned up in the front, the plexiglass. So there's plexiglass on the tail side of this trailer. Uh, just a different option. Sometimes, you know, the bus windows are standard. This one here with the plexiglass. So on this one here, you got more of the stock side look on the back with the plexiglass. Those plexiglass on all these Cimarron's, now it's the standard on their stock trailers, but on these slats here, you actually have the track for the plexiglass already built in there. So now I can slide those pieces out and store them up in that gooseneck area, uh, like I showed you in that brush tray up front there. You've got a 16 inch awning light. There's awning lights on each side in the rear of this trailer. On the back, it's an eight inch, but you have light coverage all the way around. You're gonna have two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles, electric brakes on this trailer, standard aluminum wheels on Cimarron's. These are 16 inch. These are 10 plies on this tire or on this trailer here. And I mentioned earlier about a warranty. You have a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires and, and two years of roadside assistance through Lion's Head, who is the vendor that Cimarron uses for their wheels and tires. You'll notice the green tab. These are nitrogen filled tires. So PSI levels aren't gonna fluctuate as drastically as air. They use these nitrogen filled tires on airplanes. So think about altitude differences that airplanes occur and have to deal with, and then also temperature differences. It's no different than right here in Colorado. I mean, we'll have, uh, last week we had a 90 degree day, and then, you know, at night it'd get down to about 45. So a massive difference in temperature swings there, which is gonna have PSI levels fluctuate, which is possibly gonna create a blowout or issues for you. So with that being said, those nitrogen filled tires will definitely help with that, keeping it balanced within a pound or two of where, where you'd like it. Now, if you do have a blowout, you do have a, a um, catch road debris, you catch a nail, something along those lines that if there's that type of damage, again, within the first year you own it, you can send in the codes, the damage, and they'll send you a new tire uh, from that vendor. So they really stand behind it as far as that's concerned. Now, as we get to the back of the trailer, again, with it being the standard 610 wide on these, you're gonna have a 60-40 setup on these rear doors. So your right-hand door is gonna be a little bit wider than the left-hand door. When we get into the seven, six, eight foot wide trailers, you'll end up with 50-50 doors just because of the added width in those trailers. But we want that right-hand door a little bit larger. So if you wanna leave the left shut, load and unloading horses, again, it's a little bit bigger opening for you. Up top there, there's that eight inch awning light that I was mentioning. Each one of those lights is on an individual switch. So you can turn on passenger side, driver side, rear, and then your interiors all in on an individual switches. So you can isolate where you actually have that light on. More add-ons that we can do here. If you prefer a rear ramp, maybe it's just your horse prefers a ramp load, or you wanna use this for other options. Maybe you wanna haul some toys occasionally. We can add a rear ramp to all these trailers, uh, remove the rubber bumper, attaches to the bottom, folds up over the, the back doors. Typically on a 610 wide, seven, six and eight foot, we try to keep some of those white ramps on hand. Uh, not to say that they don't sell out, 
as we're adding on for other customers, it's normally about a four to six week lead time if we're ordering one. Obviously different colored trailers will require a different color ramp. So we could either do an overlay or wait and, and build one of those for you and then bring it in. Now in the stall area, we've got all the dividers open, but on the first one up front, you've got a full stud divider. So it goes completely to the floor. So you can use that first stall for a certain horse if you need them separated a little bit more, or if you wanna use it for additional storage, hay, bedding, cooler, miscellaneous muck buckets, whatever you need up front there, we don't have to worry about them shifting, getting underneath horses as you're, as you're actually driving. As you can see, the Cimarron uses this big heavy duty spring that wants to pull all these dividers towards the driver's side of this trailer. So we don't have to you know, hold the divider open as we're loading, unloading a horse. It naturally wants, us, wants to pull over to driver's side and holds them out of the way. This trailer's actually tipped towards passenger side. That's how strong they are wanting to pull that direction there. We could add pads to dividers as well. But on a Cimarron, everything has a radius. So when you put your hands on these dividers, different parts, different aspects of this stall area, you're gonna notice nothing's sharp, nothing's protruding out. Everything has a radius to it. We want animal safety first and foremost. So everything's nice and smooth. Just like over here on this passenger side where it's actually gonna lock into on tail side over here, you know, the paddle latch is recessed. This is a heavy UHMW plastic paddle itself, so we don't have this metal to metal contact. It's actually in, in, in the plastic part of it. Simple to operate, open, close. Then you have an aluminum cast piece that's powder coated as well, radius on it. You've got your kick mats. Obviously this is a different setup because we have the plexiglass on, on this hip side of this trailer. Um, and then there's your LED lights. So you got two of these big OptiBright lights in here, plenty of light coverage in this trailer by having those. Now, on the roof, we have the insulated roof. That is standard on every single Cimarron, doesn't matter what model it is. That roof will keep this stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof. That is a big difference in the summertime, believe me. We'll walk you to one trailer, a different manufacturer with aluminum roof and then take you to a Cimarron and you feel more comfortable in it because again, it keeps it nice and cool. It's also very strong and very durable. I can walk on one of these roofs that won't dent it. It's a half inch thick honeycomb design. It will withstand 150 pounds per square foot. And then it has that R3 thermal value. So again, keeping it about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. Now, I mentioned this is all aluminum trailer. All aluminum trailers have to be cared for the same way. You need to pull these mats out, you know, depending on usage, at least once a year. If you're using the trailer a lot, you need to pull them out more. You need to power wash this trailer out. We like to recommend baking soda, sprinkling it down and then putting the mats back in because that will uh, counteract the acidity of the urine. But all aluminum trailers should be cared for and taken care of. If you do, they'll last you a long time. Now, this is the best floor on the market. So it's four inch centers that run the entire length of this trailer. So wherever you have a horse standing on this floor, they're standing on a support beam. So if you wanna look at other manufacturers and, and just to get an idea, you can crawl underneath and look at their, their centers. Their centers will be farther apart. So now horses aren't standing on support beams. Over time, you're gonna get those pits and waves that will collect urine because uh, it'll find that low spot and just sit there. And again, it will start eating corrosion on as far as that aluminum goes. Some customers will just go with the standard mats. Some people will upgrade to worm flooring, which is a permanent rubber flooring. It works great on these Cimarron's. Uh, it's cheaper to do up front rather than using it down the road, getting it prepped, getting it cleaned, and then installing it. So we can help you out with something like that as well if you want to look at those type of options. Then over here on driver's side, again, we've got the stock sides with plexiglass on, on tail side. Over here on head side, we're gonna have the drop windows. So as you can see, four drop windows with jail bars. 
Our first one's a little bit smaller, and that's because we're in an escape door. I'll show you here in a minute. But because of that framing, we're going to have a little bit smaller opening there as far as the drop window itself and jail bars. But then when you get into these next three, so two, three, and four, these are massive framed windows. These things are big. They're stout. Uh, these are items you're going to use every time you use this trailer more than likely. So we need these things to be heavy duty and hold up over time. So again, by having all that framework from that window to the edge there, again, they will hold up compared to, especially prefab. Prefab, there's no uh, framework to them at all. They're very flimsy. It's like a piece of paper in your hand. So imagine a horse just hitting it right. Those things will pop and break. And windows have gotten expensive like everything else. So let's take care of them as best we can. There's also a drip rail that's standard now on all Cimarron's. So above doors, tack doors, these drop windows that will keep moisture away, especially when we get into the winter months where we have snow. Colorado is 300 days of sunshine. So we'll get snow and then we'll have a couple days of, of sunshine and all that snow will come melting off and then we'll freeze at night. So what we don't want is we don't want that coming off, getting in these door frames and trying to work back in and freezing them up overnight. You know, you have the potential of ripping those those weather seals uh, or not even being able to get them open for a while when you need them to be open. So that's an extruded piece. It's not like they take a, a strip of aluminum, just add it to it and tack weld it on. That whole piece above every door and window like that is an extrusion that Cimarron has made specifically for just those options right there. You're also going to have welded hinges with grease certs. So heavy duty windows let's go ahead and put a heavy duty uh, actual hinge on it and the ability to maintain it by having a greaser on each end there's a brass rod you can kind of see it right there in the middle what it does is it also has a groove in it so whichever end you can put grease on each end but as you open and close it's going to want to feed that grease throughout a lot of competitors will have a welded hinge but there's really no way to get grease or anything to it besides just a little crack in the middle and then, like I mentioned, escape door at number one. So if, like I mentioned, you have other items in this front stall, you can utilize, get to those type of items from this actual escape door right here on the side of the trailer. Because it is an entryway into the stall area, you're gonna have your door latch, but you're also gonna have a paddle latch that goes over it, this butterfly style. And the reason why is we don't want a horse in there playing with that latch, popping that door open as we're driving. This will act as a secondary latch securing the door. So if you are in the stall area trying to get out, obviously this has to be open and then you can run the actual latch itself there. But really well equipped for horse. Again, there's not a lot out there in the market, especially new ones. So again, this one is available today. We do take trade-ins. So if you're looking to upgrade, maybe you got a bumper pull, wanting to get into gooseneck, a three horse to a four horse, or maybe you're looking to downsize, LQ to just to use in trailer, anything like that, we can definitely help you out there. We do have financing available and we can deliver to your doorstep. So we can work with you as far as all that's concerned. But I'm gonna give you the stock number on this trailer. So if you're interested, you can call, give us that number, 5N221026. Again, it's a 2023 Cimarron North Star four horse gooseneck. So give us on the call. Give us a call. We, we have this trailer and we have more coming, or we can customize and build you whatever you'd like. So anyone on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303 684 3400. Thanks for tuning in and have a good day.